Hello YouTube, it's Amigos3 looking back to Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, episode 40. I almost said 140, <laughs> but we're not that far. <laughs> I don't think we'll ever get that far, oh boy. But yeah, we're back. Believe it or not guys, it's been oh, almost two weeks for me on recording. It won't be that way for you lot because I'm trying to keep things a steady schedule. But there are a few things I want to say before we actually get going anywhere. Recently, uh, from point of recording, this is February 11th. Yesterday, on February 10th, we had a Nintendo Direct. I know it'll only it'll probably be over a month by the time you see this video, but I feel like I have to say it. Xenoblade Chronicles 3 has been confirmed to be a thing. We even saw uh, something from within the game. A bit of a cutscene, so that was amazing. We might have even seen more by now. I don't know. Yeah. And, uh... The reason why I haven't recorded for a while as well, the easiest way to show is by doing this. Pokemon Legends Arceus. That game came out and I've been playing that. I've been addicted to it. Now, uh, that's out of the way. Uh, in the last episode, we uh, were trying to do a bunch of side quests to get a certain thing. Let's just say we can't get it just yet without moving forward in the progress. Uh, in the plot. Yeah. Without making progress in the plot. So, I said in the end of the last episode we was going to move to Phallic Mountain. Well, no. That was stupid, and I've learned not to be that stupid. We're only level 44. I want to be minimal level 46 before going to Valak Mountain, so we're not done. So, this, episode's, uh, this episode and the next few episodes, I'm not sure how many. I'll try not to make too many side quest episodes. We'll see. i got to think ahead. But this episode, we are off. To Alchemoth. We're gonna start doing some side quests over there. See you at Alchemoth with a changed party. I think this party should do. Shala, Melia, and Dunban. These three haven't really had much of an interaction together, so these should do pretty well. We're gonna start off by doing side quests one by one, so we're gonna start off with this side quest right here. I think I remember this one. Recently, po Popipo's son not no one to go outside. I asked why, but he no answer. He just shiver and shake. What is what is happening? Oh, if memory serves me right, actually, I think you need Ryan for uh, optional dialogue for this one. He does go out, but every day he finds a tricky place to hide. I want you to have fun outside, not stay in dark place. Except, you're all nice people. I am all smiley smiles. But about my little br my li my little pawn, Barbo, Barboba. I don't know. Not know what's wrong with him. I want you to ask him. Yeah, I think the unique dialogue for this Napon is this side quest is Rhine. So, uh, whoops. Oh well, we're using this party today. Reason why. Baroba, but ba I'm calling that Baroba. By reason why Baroba not go out? Simple. When walk outside, end up getting quick grab, cuddled, left Baroba right up. Oh, well, not like what when that happened. If Baroba smell bad, maybe that prob solve problem. Will friends bring some smelly thing? Smelly thing like what exactly? Glad to play. Five ether roses. Ether roses. Aren't those from Colony 6? Collectopedia? Uh, well, Ether Mind, I think. Let's have a look. Ether Mine. No. Is it Sotoro Marsh? No. Oh, no, wait. It's the flowers I'm looking for. I'm a dum dum sometimes. There is no flowers here. By honest leg? No. Huh. Where is the ether rose? I've ha I think I've had an ether rose before. Maybe not. Oh well, 
Okay, I will admit, as I've said before, it's been a little while since I last recorded. I just remembered a way how to do this. I'm being an idiot. Let's go to the let's go back to the quest log. Alchemoth. And do that. And now we're going to fast go where it says it was Satoru Marsh. Alright then, so we're off to Satoru Marsh to get this. Since that there's collectible items, I will cut till I get all five of them. Well, I'll cut to each individual one. But you can just see them around. In fact, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this is already six of them. I'm gonna get two by traveling to there. So yeah. I'll either speed this up or just cut it out, one or the other. Hooray! There's the first one. We'll head this way. We haven't been over here yet, at least according to the map, so I'll I guess I should keep this in. Uh, maybe I will just speed this up. We'll see. In fact, if memory serves, remind, if memory serves me, I think there's a heart to heart on this very brown, smoky looking tree. We'll go over there in a sec. That's the next Ether Rose. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> I'm assuming those are for side quests here in Satoru Marsh. We actually should get the, consider getting those done as well. We need to do the Clexopedia here too. Maybe that's something we'll do before we move forward. We'll come here and make an episode out of doing Satoru Marsh. Because there are some things that we've forgotten to do here. Well, I've forgotten. Landmark Crown Tree. Yes, there was indeed something here for us. And we can climb. You can see that heart to heart right there. This is for Shala and Ricky, but it's got to be all the way up. Maximum affinity. Okay. And to get off the tree, we go this way. Yay! Back to either cuts or speeds, one or the other. Okay, we're cutting back in here because you can tell where we are from like when you go and follow the path. Going this way as well, we're heading to an area once again that we haven't been to up over here because, well, that's where that exclamation mark is, but I figured I'd show this as well. This here is another spot we haven't touched, and the reason what makes it important is the fact that there is a heart-to-heart -heart here, as well as, I forget whether it's day or night, but there is a unique monster that spawns here. I think it's a nighttime unique enemy. Let's see, this one is... Shulk and Dunban at green. Wait, I don't have Shulk and Dunban at green yet? Really? We could get this now if I did. Uh, that's something I gotta work on. I'll have Shulk and Dunban as part of like the party in a very in a very recent in a episode to come, definitely. Leave away. There's four out of five, meaning I'm just gonna fast travel over here and grab these two. Five out of five. But since the, we only have five and we haven't done the Collectopedia of this place, we're going to pop up here and grab the other Ether Rose that was marked on the map. Oh, enemy. Oh, can't grab it now. Seriously? You? Nope. I mean, we could kill it, but I don't want it. That is so annoying that he can end up in a spot. I just want to grab Ethan. I know there's a unique enemy up here as well, but he's pathetically weak. We could kill him easily. Uh, where is this guy going? I don't know. We're fighting this one. See you in a sec. Oh! 
Okay, that fight's quickly dealt with. It didn't even get hurt. I can see this isn't pushing you at all. Grab that and grab these here. There was the Ether Rose. Alright, see you guys back in Elkamoth. Okay, he's here. Friends bring stinky thing. Give to ba Baroba. Give. P.U. Smells worse. Oh, sorry. Smells worse than imagine. This perfect. Thank you, hum hum people. And then we clear up the side quests by going over to the the mother, I believe. Yes. Because of your help, Baroba run outside like a good nappon. Big thank you. It's only little, but please take it. Ugh. It has been a while since we've done anything here on Xenoblade to me, and wow, I feel rusty. Okay, quest complete. Our first quest done, and it's only been 15 minutes. Yay. But we're not. But if we go to menu, we got something on the skill tree. Ryan. It got battle character, which. Increases attack power of equipped weapons, which isn't bad. That makes him stronger, so he can draw aggro easier. Alright then. Um, I think I want to take care, actually, of this side of Cyclist. I think these ones are easier than these ones for the moment. And I don't mind taking care of the easier ones, because that means they have less experience gained, so we can do more quests. So, we'll take care of what this guy over here wants. Yes. We are behind with maintenance. The air defenses of Alchemoth. We're all set. We're all to our necks in it. It's. I hardly get to see my family, but they're worried about me. I want to give my child a cool doll, but I just don't have the time to get the materials. It's asking a lot, I know, but could you collect some Oluga slacks for me? I mean, nothing says cool like Oluga slacks, right? What? We got two out of three of Oluga slack, so sorry for causing a bother. I'm really grateful for you doing this for help. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> so, can I stop pressing that button? I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I don't. The controls are a little muddled for me. You'll notice so far as well. Every quest we're doing so far are all timed. Practically 90% of the quests here at Alchemoth, if not all of the side quests here at Alchemoth. Are timed. Let's go to the ether plant. Because I think the best place we're going to get some Orgluga slacks is at the cave that's just below. Yeah, they're all over there. You know what? We'll go here then. <laughs> Whatever works. I'll see you once we get this. Ricky might be helpful here because of his yoink ability. Just going to point that out there, but I'm going to stick to these guys for now. Oh, leave me alone. Okay, I'm in actually a little bit of a bad situation. Time is now! 
Took a bit. And I got a silver chest from the Oluga, which. Didn't... Wait, was that the Oluga spot? Or was it this brown chest? It was the brown chest. <laughs> I really didn't want to fight that unique enemy, but it wasn't going to leave me alone. Alright. I'll see you with the next Oluga chance. In fact, I'll just see you when I get the drop now. Now that the big tense fight is over with. Okay, that annoying fight's over with. Or Luger Slacks, we got him. Quest complete. Whew. I had to fight a lot more than I actually really wanted to right there, which is kind of annoying. Uh, back to Alchemoth. Alright, our next side quest might as well be this one wide up here. Alright, here's our side quest. Givar, what do you want? Good star. Ever heard of white tails? Pillars made from them will give you a really good night's sleep. Can I have that in real life, please? I suck at sleeping right now. <laughs> I washed... I washed one... Uh... Ah. I washed one... One... Pfft. I washed my one wrong and made it go all hard. Wow. That's like a tongue twister. I wonder why that happened. I've already got everything. Yeah, I've already got you some white tails. This is just a generic NPC, so he really doesn't have anything important to say, so just complete the quest and you're good. Yay! More reputation and money! Money, 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 money. To the Fountain of Hope. I think this is not a generic name person. No, it yeah. is. Lately, our friends have been arguing a lot. We don't know the reason, and it's getting uh, a real down, too. So I had an idea. Listen, are you Navi now? I want to give them something, uh, give something to her to cheer her up. You think you can help me collect some star drop flowers? I got everything else. I just don't have the time to collect those. Okay. Ah, that's wonderful. You, re I was really struggling for time. Thank you so much for helping me with this. Okay, the star drops. They are found right here in Alchemoth. In fact, I only need three, and there are exactly three, so I'll cut to each one. Beep beep! There's one. There's two. And there's three, which makes five. Alright, now then, since... Uh... I could have sworn there was more over there. Hold on, let's change the time. Let's make it earlier day. Yeah, there's one more. Oh, I know that quest. Wait, I never did that one? Oh, this one's an easy one. So we'll get definitely taking care of this one first. Hold on. I thought I needed to sneeze. I still somewhat feel it, but... I'm really feeling the fact that I might sneeze. <laughs> oh my god. Hello. What is it? Ah, hello there. Could I bother you for a second? I really need some help right now. My son has just gone missing. I'm really sorry, but could you help me look for him? You look troubled. Is something worrying you? Uh. He just disappeared the second I took my eyes off him. 
I can't believe this has happened. I can't leave here either. My daughter is here, you see, so she she can be pretty naughty too. I have to keep an eye on her. I believe the unique dialogue for this one is Shulk. It, no, actually, I think it might be Ricky. It's Shulk or Ricky, so maybe have both of them in the party. Except. Really, thanks for helping. You can count on it. Okay, believe it or not though, his son's pretty easy to find. He's actually right over here. Might as well grab this red item orb while I'm at it. A health amulet. The boy is right there. Actually, before we go any further, I said I was going to use these characters, but I want to know what their affinity together is. So let's go to Sharla. It's green on Melia, but normal on Dunban. Well, if that's the case, I think I will have Ricky in the party instead of Melia then. Let's see if I'm right, if it's Ricky. Where am I? I hope I can get back to my dad and sis. Dad asked you to come and find me? Thanks! I know he's close, but I didn't know how to get back to him from here. Alright then, the naughty boy has been sent back to his day yet. Let's go back there. That sounded so bizarre. It sounded better in my head. <laughs> okay. Is it me or do I only see one child running? What is it? Thank you for finding my son. He promised not to go off without telling me again. You really saved the day. Good, it was our pleasure. My son is so full of energy, he can't keep up so, so I can't keep up sometimes, but I'm still to blame for him letting him out of my sight. Please take this as a little thanks from me. Quest complete. But we're not done. What is it? Oh, it's you again. Please, a moment of your time. I have another favor to ask. It's my daughter. She's gone missing too. I still can't leave my son alone. I know he promised to behave, but he's just a child, you know. I'm really sorry, but could you please help me again? Okay, it must be Shulk. I knew I could count on you. Thanks for helping. Alright then. The daughter is actually, again, very close by. She's literally right over here. Right here, playing in the water. You found me! Huh? You're not my brother. Daddy's been looking for me. I was just playing hide and seek. Daddy worries too much. I bet he was crying. I better go back. Bye bye! Oh boy. Naughty children. But that's just kids in general for you. I can't actually say this. I know a three year old. Okay. But both children are back and playing and that be good, maybe. What is it? My daughter's safe and sound, all thanks to you. You've taken good care of both my son and daughter. Good, it was our pleasure. Here, take this. It was not much, but thanks. To, well, thank you. Quest complete. Strength up four, very nice. In fact, I think that might work on Ricky. Yeah, I've already got a strength of three spike, which is useful. I mean, I don't really have anything better to put on him, do I? I mean, that's not that bad. Aoife defense down only by one point. I'll take that and give him that strength four. So he can dish out more damage so he can get aggro again a little easier. Because he is also a tank. Now, did we ever check this heart to heart that's right over here? Let's just double each check to be sure. If we have or haven't, either way, we don't have the requirements for that, so we're heading back to the entrance to go to the other side. This person should be just over here. You're going to have to excuse my commentary. As I said, it's been a little bit since I've recorded, so my commentary tends to tank. Yes? I was just a normal citizen. My co-workers are covered for me after I messed up at work. I want to make them a present, but I don't have the materials. If at all possible, could you find the materials I need, please? Glossy grade fans. 
accept. You might be a bit tough, but I'd like something to get is from is from Luna Grayards at Erif C. I've always wanted to use them to make a present. Thanks for agreeing to help. So at Erif C then, huh? All right. But before we go there, let's uh, not do gem crafting. Let's go over here and do this. Let's see what it takes to get these at Erif C to the lighthouse. There's like a few of them right there. Well, it looks like they're not item orbs, they're monsters. There's a side quest here still. Huh. Didn't notice that. We'll go for that side quest in a bit then. Probably after this one's complete. So, looks like what we're looking for we can find down there on that island. Geronimo! This is gonna be a fall. My control just goes boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. Sorry. <laughs> I'm a control as a fish. Boop, boop, boop. Alright, see you over at the island. Speed! Location, Sleeping Dragon Isle. Whoa! Whoa! It's a sound-based enemy too, so if I run or walk anywhere near it, all this could be trouble. Because it looks like the enemy we need is a fish. And everything near is deadly. That's a vision. That's a sound. That's a vision, but he ain't that big of a deal. It's just this thing here, the Luna Grady. We need to beat this. Okay, is there any way we can get its attention from a further distance? Okay, it's turning around. You get over here. Get him. Oh, can I insta kill? I, I think that might have been an insta kill. I'm not sure. Either way. I got one out of two. Let's head over here and see if this other one is a little safer to get. I mean, I don't really see anything that could kill us. So that's not bad. Get it! Ah, small fry, because they're fish. Fish! Lots of meat? No. Oh, we got a red guy here. That's kind of bad. Oh, they are way too close together. If I do a lore, I'm going to get both of them. That thing's level 85! I will die! Nope! Run, 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 run! Whoa! We're getting a vision because this thing's gonna kill. No, it's not impossible, Dan Dan. It's more than twice our level. Well, okay, not that much, but... Eh. Okay, good. Let's grab that chest. It's hoping it's what we need. Dang it! We're going somewhere else. Okay, I think we got it this time because we got a silver chest. Ricky couldn't fight in that fight at all because he's constantly swimming. But quest complete. I will need to stop recording soon due to due to people returning home, but I think we got enough time for one last side quest. In fact, let's make it be the one over here at the lighthouse. This one shouldn't be that bad. There are two over here. This is a generic one, what so this it? should be pretty easy. The monsters have really been active late, uh, lately. It might be because the lighthouse got damaged, or did it get damaged because of the monsters becoming active? Well, I'm not sure what came first, but I want to make this place safe. Do you think you could take out some, uh, those things for him? Okay. I appreciate it. You guys look tough, but this is some uh, unique terrain. Be careful. Alright, uh, I'm still pressing the wrong buttons. 
to the quest log. That's Alchemoth, we need RFC. Well, this isn't a timed quest, so it's something I really don't need to worry too much about just yet. Where are they? I'll cut this up, because it's probably an enemy we've beaten before. If it's not, I'll show the first fight, but either way, I'm going to cut around. It's this enemy! Get it! Two out of five. Three out of five. Four out of five. Quest complete. See you back at Alchemoth. Or at the lighthouse, the lighthouse. Okay, we're back at the lighthouse, and this is where we're going to stop. Hope you guys have all enjoyed. Oh, in the next episode, we're going to continue here doing side quests here at the lighthouse for him and at Alchemoth. They're basically the same area in region, so I don't mind doing either one. I do kind of recommend prioritizing Alchemoth, but we're going to do a mixture. So, hope you guys have all enjoyed, and I'll see you all for the next episode. Maybe we'll switch the team up again. Maybe. Charlotte's unsure.